wild pig meat. Delicious. <laughs> Welcome back to Ron Boots Farm. I uh, shot a video here uh, on cooking some wild pig meat that my dad brought. Uh, it was, uh, he's got a little place he hunts on and it's uh, full of, uh, well not say full of, but quite a few uh, wild pigs and uh, for those of you unfamiliar with Texas, um, we have a, a huge wild pig population and problem down here. Uh, they just breed like crazy and they're taking over and tearing up uh, lots of people's land, uh, fields and all of that. So um, there's no season on them. You can hunt them anytime. Uh, day or night they even hunt them in some places uh, by helicopter down here just to try to lower the population some so um, and a lot of folks uh, here hunt them but uh, they just leave them if they're too big uh, or um, if it's a large boar or something or too large they'll say um, that they're not fit to eat but uh, I commented on another video that maybe my taste buds are off but we eat everyone we can get our hands on large small male female um, just depends on how you cook it how long you cook it and that kind of thing so uh, here lately I've been cooking them in our Instapot. If you haven't seen an Instapot, it's pretty much all over the internet. You can get them Amazon and different places. And uh, it's basically a pressure cooker, electric uh, pressure cooker, and they make them from small up to the large ultra size. And that's what we have, the Instapot Ultra. So I uh, was getting ready to post this video, but I noticed today that the, uh, the model we have, the Instapot Ultra, is actually on sale. Uh, so I thought I'd mention that on the first of this video. If you haven't gotten one or you're looking at getting one, um, I'll post a link uh, down below uh, to the model we have. But again, they have uh, various other models. So, um, you know, we'd appreciate you shopping through those links. Uh, I post things uh, down there, um, various products we use, the knives that I showed on the last couple of videos, things like that. And every uh, purchase through those, um, we get a small commission uh, when you purchase through those links. And we have that set up that it goes back to an account. Uh, just for uh, the farm here. So anything that you purchase through our links goes back to um, used on the farm, uh, our future orchard, things like that. So we appreciate you buying through those links. Um, and don't worry, we can't see what you buy. We do get a list of things that's purchased, but it's not tracked back to a specific person. So don't worry, we're not judging you for what you buy through our Amazon links. But we do appreciate you clicking through there. Uh, everything uh, helps. Again, that all goes towards the farm and we appreciate it. So we'll turn this over uh, to the video I shot the other day of cooking this wild pig meat. And uh, again, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, welcome back to the channel, and today we're cooking wild hog meat in the Instapot. that dad brought us. Already trimmed it up, got it cut up and cleaned. We're gonna cook it in the Instapot. If you never used one before, you can set it to saute. I've already got some olive oil and some butter in there. I'm gonna let that heat up, throw it in there, just brown it, and then uh, we'll set it to pressure cook. Now, probably for 90 minutes. I know you can probably do it for less than that, but I wanna make sure it's good and done. And when you do it for 90 minutes, it just falls apart and it's delicious. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start, set that to saute, let that start melting. And as soon as it is, we'll get all this thrown in there and get it brown. Okay, I think it's about ready. that going good. I might stop uh, videoing so I can wash my hands and we'll come back in a minute once we get this all browned up. Alright, we got it uh, browning here. We got it seasoned up with some salt and pepper and some uh, Chef Key Snow uh, Montana Montana Steak. You can see that seasoning. Uh, which you can get at harvestseasoning.com or um, I think they sell it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link and put it down in the show notes. We're going to brown this up. I'll come back in just a minute. We'll add our water and we'll set it to pressure cook. All right, so we are jumping uh, forward in time uh, from the video. Somehow my uh, shot of putting it, uh, setting it to pressure cook got deleted. And so I'm going to film this just to show you exactly how you do set it. And then we'll jump back in time and see how it turned out. So uh, basically after you saute it, you 
get this bad guy to go. So um, after you saute it, um, this model has several settings that are just preset that I just go uh, put it on pressure cook. Uh, of course this dial here uh, turns everything back and forth, but to put it on pressure cook, you click it to set it, you can set the time, uh, you turn, uh, you click if you want to change it. I did it for 90 minutes when I did the, halt, the hog meat. And then I left it on high for high pressure. Um, you can delay cook if you want. Of course, I didn't. And then if you want to keep warm, turn that off or on. You would put your water in here. Um, I think I used about a cup. You can use, depending on the recipe, you're using half a cup to more. I wanted a little more uh, broth. And so I think I used a full cup uh, when I did that. So once you sauteed uh, meat, um, you would put your water in there. Set the lid, have your settings. It start, um, it would start coming to pressure. This little uh, petcock or whatever would um, pop out here as the pressure started coming up. Uh, then it would completely seal off, it would cook under pressure. Once the cook time was up, it would, uh, let me go ahead and turn this off since it's in there. Um, but once it uh, got up to full pressure and cooked, then it will start to release pressure out. Um, and you can wait, it takes about 30 minutes for the if you just want to wait for it to manually uh, release or it does uh, or if you want it to just release on its own if you want to manually release the pressure it does have a button here the steam will shoot out you have to watch out if you have cabinets and all that because it'll uh, get moisture everywhere uh, sometimes when i do that i have a kind of a towel here to deflect it off the cabinets but it doesn't take too long to to uh, you know, just manually release especially if you got other things going on you can just set it to cook uh, we found it great to cook hog meat and wild deer meat and, roast and other things. So let's jump back in time and see how the uh, meat turned out. All right, we're done. Open it up, see what it looks like. I'm sure y'all can hear the kids hollering in the background. Here it is, falling apart. Lots of good broth down there. Yep, tastes delicious. It's like falling apart, it's pork roast. All right, I'll let y'all go because I'm gonna eat some of this up. <laughs>